pulled a nut. That's the same thing for the front end. So I'm only showing this back end. Again, it, the whole kit is repetitive from just about here on out. Okay, and that's that part. Now, here's the interesting thing about this that I noticed. We have these BB11s, these 7 by 102 millimeter shafts. I don't know if you can see it on there or not. But there's a little groove in the shaft right here that go to the right side of the chassis. I have already put one on the, uh, the right side of the chassis uh, because like I said I, I started this already uh, because like I said it, it's repetitive, it's very repetitive and it gets quite boring. So this would be on the left side of the chassis, mounting into this hole here. I already got thread lock on there. Line is facing to the right side if I can keep it in my hands. I'm going to start it with my fingers. Maybe. Snugged up, should be tight. And then uh, what else we got here? Then we'll move over to this side. Again, it's very repetitive. I have forgotten a couple of important pieces. Need some three by twenty-seven millimeter. which are very long and they're black okay so those screws come here you little squirt they go in this area is here this is actually like the bumper support a little thread lock on the threads. Now I don't know about this Tamiya stuff, but I know uh, liquid thread lockers that you get in the tube, if you put the metal into the thread locker up against the tube as you apply it, it will start to uh, activate and that's why most of the time your thread lock gets plugged up or goes bad. Your best bet is to just put it on a piece of plastic use a toothpick or just dump the hardware in it to get the thread lock on there and you can see the thread lock on there I'm just screwing these in for right now so I'm trying to keep this video short because the other one was way too long and Is that okay? So we got that in, in place. That's going in. Just look at the photos. Look at the photo. And come on, Bobby. Line it up. Come on, you can do it. That would sit like that. Get 
the other half of the chassis that I already started to assemble. And if I put it in the right position, everything would line up. Alright, so with that note being there, Grab a couple more 3x27s. Put a bit more thread lock on it. I'm going to start this one in the front here because I'm already here. that end, come over to this end, slide that in there, get a little more thread lock, yeah I'm not used to making a video like this people as you can tell, so pardon me, my first time on this Doing, this vid, doing a build video and again I'm trying to rush but that's close to what the chassis is going to look like assembled uh, the next step here would be doing the gearbox build so I'm going to go back finish up the rest of the screws that I didn't put in that I need to put in and I will see you later on the uh, the axle housings and the axle builds and the axle gears there's a lot to it um, so stay tuned thank you for watching